Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Dynamics. If you're new here, then just welcome to the channel. We're gonna talk about Bitcoin, guys. I'm gonna show you some true manipulation. So as you guys know, today we had a bit of a crash. Not really a crash, but you know, a move down below 40. I think we went as low as 39.640. What's not right about this? Well, uh, we have this sideways channel on the four hour time frame, And as you guys know, right here we went below that forty thousand dollar support level why is this manipulation because as the price dips below key support levels everybody begins to think that we're gonna head lower and of course most people don't make money the few make money and so that's what happens we have somebody putting in a bunch of long positions right down here and we had this pump you know a six percent pump if you do this on a 10x leverage you can make 60 percent on that trade now this happens all the time actually let me show you in the previous dip look we go below key support and then we revert and the reason this happens is because obviously as we go below key support levels we have some savage baboons putting short positions late shorts and of course they get spanked they get punished so obviously you don't want to short bitcoin as soon as we go below key support levels because usually we get these massive pumps that just destroy the shorts and then you don't want to go ahead and long once we're up here again because that's probably what everybody else is doing right if you want to get into a long position or a short position you should wait to see a confirmation in either direction, right? Say that we broke below $40,000, we stayed there, we retest that resistance level and move lower, then that would be a confirmation and then you can consider putting in a short position. Same thing goes if you want to put in a long position. You know, some people will long this right out of this small sideways channel. You know, there's less risk actually, but you know, it's, it's not about the risk. It's about actually having a profitable trade, right? Then once we break this falling wedge, which let me go back to the daily. Then once we break this falling wedge, I want to feel a lot more comfortable. We're likely going to retest this uptrend and that's a lot of volatility guys. That's a lot of volatility to make money off of. Also, guys, don't forget, you know, I want to keep hammering this into your head because this is so crucial, guys. I know maybe many people don't do technical analysis because they're just buying for the long term, this and whatnot. But actually, this gives you a lot of insight as to what Bitcoin is doing. So downtrending resistance line, we will retest. That's going to be awesome, right? If we break that resistance line. So keep an eye on it down to the four hour time frame. We, we got a little bit of something going on, right? I showed you guys in my previous video, we had this downtrending resistance line for the four hour RSI. Now I readjusted this line a little bit and it looks like we're moving higher. We're now above this resistance line. Also, if you look closely, right? Come here get closer look at this guys we have price action moving sideways you know for the most part just sideways in the meantime look at this guy down here the rsi is starting to move upwards so maybe something to keep an eye on as this could be the beginning of a reversal so you know guys at the end of the day is this manipulation or not i don't know what to call it you know i think it's just normal price action of course maybe you can call it manipulation because somebody is making this happen right so maybe you can call it manipulation because of that but this is normal price action and uh, you know it, it, this is a tricky spot i would not be surprised if we just get rejection right here or maybe try to break out get rejection again and move lower which uh, that would be kind of ugly or we could just range a little bit more and eventually do a micro move within the four hour time frame. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. That helps me out a lot and I'll see you guys on the next video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.